Cellulitis is a common infection that affects the epidermis, dermis, and subcutaneous layers. This condition is often caused by group A streptococcus or Staphylococcus aureus. It can occur as an extension of a skin wound, an ulcer, or from furuncles or carbuncles. The infection is usually located in the lower extremities and can be associated with other diseases, including chronic venous insufficiency and stasis dermatitis. Streptococci and Staphylococcus aureus are the most frequent causes of cellulitis. These bacteria create enzymes that cause severe inflammation when they go within the subcutaneous tissues. As a result, the infected area develops diffuse borders and becomes hot, sensitive, red, and swollen. Additionally, the patient may also have fever, malaise, and chills. One type of cellulitis is erysipelas, which primarily affects the dermis and epidermis skin layers. It usually develops when group A streptococcus bacteria enter skin tissue through a bite, wound, abrasion, or other trauma. Initially, the affected area may present as firm red spots that gradually grow and merge, resulting in a clearly defined, advancing, bright red hot lesion with a raised border. Additionally, vesicles may develop over the lesion and surrounding border. Other symptoms of erysipelas may include itching, burning, and tenderness in the affected area. It's most commonly found on the face and lower extremities, and more common in infants, young children, older adults, and the immunocompromised. Other types of cellulitis include orbital cellulitis, which affects the tissues surrounding the eye and usually caused by a bacterial infection that is spread from the sinuses. Necrotizing cellulitis is a rare, life-threatening condition and considered to be a medical emergency. Those who are immunocompromised, diabetic, or have peripheral artery disease are at high risk for developing necrotizing cellulitis. If this condition is not diagnosed quickly, then it can lead to sepsis, shock, and organ failure as it rapidly spreads through the body's soft tissue. Effective treatment of cellulitis is crucial, as untreated cellulitis can lead to gangrene and sepsis. Moist heat, immobilization, and elevation are commonly recommended to alleviate inflammation and pain, while systemic antibiotics are administered to combat the infection. In severe cases, hospitalization may be required. Nursing interventions for cellulitis include promoting rest in the affected area and applying warm compresses as prescribed to enhance blood flow and reduce discomfort, erythema, and edema. Antibacterial dressings, ointments, or gels may also be used as prescribed to lower the risk of further infection. It's important to obtain a culture of the affected area before administering antibiotics to determine the most effective treatment course. In summary, cellulitis is a serious infection that requires timely treatment to avoid complications. Nursing students should know the signs and symptoms of this condition and understand the necessary interventions to facilitate healing and prevent progression to gangrene and sepsis. Thank you for watching and let me know in the comments if you have any questions.